Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass here, and welcome to My Beautiful Paper Smile, Chapter 2. A hand-drawn surreal horror game that takes place in a kind of grey dystopian world. Upfront disclosure, while I have played the first chapter of the series in the past, this video of Chapter 2 specifically is sponsored by the publisher. Chapter 2. A Place of Sorrow. I beg thee listen, O glorious one. The operation has ceased, for one joyous has escaped. What does your perfection request of your servants? Hunt the child down. I kind of like how it does that Paper Mario thing. It literally just lays flat 2D. <laughs> I have escaped. I have overcome the restraints that have held me for so long. Where I lie down, there stand no walls. My eyes are free to wander upwards until I can see no more. I know not one word that describes how I feel. I wish only that my friend could share this feeling with me. But what do I do now? Is there nothing more to this strange land? I cannot sleep any longer. I will find some purpose for myself. So, I can definitely tell that compared to chapter one, the original one I played, that the production values have gone up, per se. Like, that's a really nice looking forest. Equipped right now, we have our face on and our life. Check the left. Want to make sure there's no secrets there. I believe every chapter has some form of secret. The last one had like some kind of weird gambling. Kind of a, not gambling, but like you had tokens, like a fair. creaking somewhere. I'll take the right path. This should be the right way. Dead end. Hmm, shiny. Item inventory, triangle token, gathered one of five. Hmm. So that should be the, the secret collectible of this chapter.
man, they're already on our tails. Wait, no. Maybe they're... They're doing something different. My brother removed the child from his restraint. But noble guide, our blade has vanished from the pedestal. We cannot proceed in our current action without it. It is missing indeed. There must be some mistake. Why would the blade choose to spare him? This child is possessed of a spirit of evil and desertion. He can't be the unblemished one. We cannot risk his line. We must take him to the king. The unblemished one? So we've just saved someone's life? When they take a prophecy very literal? Do they have my friend? They are taking him to the king. I must follow them. It's like, oh, no one stole that blade. It must be a divine, divine message. It's an interesting world. It's like... We're clearly, clearly some kind of... Almost like goat people. So you can see our hooves. But it has a... Kind of modern, but also medieval aesthetic. Looks like they went in there. Might be locked though, let's see. Yeah. That's nice been another way to follow them. This is a knocked out bridge. No, it was... No, it could still be something knocked out. It doesn't really look like a traditional rope. Huh. Someone started a fire here. It means we're not alone. Anyone home? Secret. Hey, buddy. Hello. Hello, child. What is your name? What is my name? A name is what you are called by. I am called Echoius. Did you come from the facility? Yes, and I'm traveling to the king. You cannot go to the king if you have no name. The Joyous are not named until they are released into the king's village. You cannot enter the village, nor approach the king without a name. How do I find a name? I can help you, child. I am a hunter, traveling toward the village this night. 
You mean accompany me, and we shall find the elements required for your name. I thank you, Hunter. Why do you desire to visit the king? I believe that the forties have taken my friend there. You are kind to follow him. You are kind to worry for him. I believe you are tired. You may rest inside the cabin. I will wait here until you are ready to start our journey together. This game has a hell of an aesthetic. I'll say that. The whole game is, um... One developer, actually. I think that's doing the art and the, the programming. Tonight, I will greet the presence of my friend. The hunter is kind to help me find him. He is kind to help me find a name. He is kind. Kind, like my friend. But rescuing my friend is crucial. I brought him to that dreadful room where he was taken. I brought him to that place. I will bring him back from his bondage. But enough time has spoiled already. I am well rested. We will leave now. Hunter? Let's go. Hunter, I am prepared to begin my journey. Then let us go. I have long awaited an adventure such as this. Hey, wait a minute. Are your feet walking in reverse? Well, you have your shoes on reverse anyways. We are nearing our first destination, dear child. I will gather the first element that we will use to create your name. This first element is the blood of perfection. The next will be that of corruption. And the last element will be your own blood. When combined, these three things will determine a name for you. Your name will be beautiful, I am sure. It will taste like honey in the mouth of those who speak it. But the name of your friend would be bitter and seldom tasted. Now, follow me closely, my child. Hmm. Well, the back of your hoodie looks almost like a face. And sorry, I'm not following you closely. I wanted to see if there's a token there. So are you walking in reverse? Or is it a... Kind of a trick? Like sometimes they, they used to do it for um, tigers. You put a mask on the back of your head. Keeps the predators thinking you have eyes back there. Remain here as I proceed to the cabin. I will return shortly. Because the motif of the game is faces putting on your face. So the hunter has the face in the back of his head. Hopefully we can trust you, hunter. Ooh, a secret. Secret. Three of five. Equip that knife. Huh. We actually can use it as a weapon. Interesting. Don't mind me, Hunter. I'm just going to explore. So what I do. Ooh. Looks useful. Dealing with here needs a gear which we had left outside. 
Yeah, you don't need to go in your inventory. Forgot about that. Them, any of them tokens around here? Looks like we're at a uh, farm of some kind. Door. No, oh, no, it's a a butcher. Well, mar farm and butcher are not mutually exclusive, so. What's this? Oh no! I didn't have an inventory. The hunter may have returned by now. I must go to him before he finds I have left. Too old to be used anywhere nearby. Rusty key. The fact that we chose Splough does make me wonder if we can trust the hunter. I mean, maybe a twist is it'll be the king himself. Um, something stalks me in the shadows. I must be prepared to protect myself. Whoa! Don't you laugh at me. I'll click you! To oblivion! No cartoon spider is stalking me. Man, even the sky is damn sketchy drawing. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Take this off. That was locked. I'm glad to lay eyes on your unbroken body. You should be happy. You obeyed my request to stay nearby. I will let you carry this. Keep it safe as we travel. There's another pen and camera nearby, so let's go rest. And why is everything abandoned in the first place? We are very near to the main road, so you must keep careful watch of the surrounding area. I do not fear, child, but you are safe here, with me. Hunter, before you go to rest, I must bring something to your attention. While well, I waited for you to bring the flask, a creature made itself known from the shadows. It fled promptly back into the brush, but I believe it may follow us. Child, I assure you, there is nothing for you to fear in this land, other than the authorities. That is why you must look out for any passing figures while I rest in the cabin. Do wake me if you see any threats, but do not be fearful of any strange creatures. Listen, giant laughing spiders are, are pretty... <laughs> I feel like that's up in the tier. I think it's one thing, giant spiders. One that has a Looney Tunes laugh. Maybe a little bit worse. It's like one of the tokens. 
Okay, so I'm debating if the hunter is going to betray us. Or maybe the hunter is the spider or something weird. But they seem sincere enough, so... Hmm. Token. Four of five. YouTubers. Hello. You got any loot in there for me? Useless. Ooh, that opens. Eh, I might be cooking some spice down that direction. And that is locked. Okay. You know where we gotta go. Oh crap! Got me sword. You wanna go, you Looney Tunes spider? Huh. Those look like the authorities. Looks like it came out like some kind of. Can you tell what's like a place of worship? Well, for these people anyway. Or maybe a fort. I'm gonna equip this. Interesting. Advisory practice in summoning? When summoning the spirits of those perished, one must make an offering of life to appease the dead. You'll need a source of life, typically carried in a lantern. Whatever sources are acceptable, bring the life close to the orbs and a portion will be transferred to the orb. If an orb is lit unintentionally, you must extinguish the source of life. If an object that is lacking life comes close to an orb, it will absorb the life from the orb, leaving the orb empty, empty once again. Bring the life close to the orbs. Hmm. Spirit of the Faceless. So light up, basically skip them. Oh, there's a token here. Secret. Wait, no. Oh man. Diamond tokens. So unequip my life, which is a very weird concept to me. 
Can't leave this unequipped too long. Why did you summon me yet again? I have told everything I have to desire to share. Wait now. You are no authority. It is I, the lost child. I did not expect you to see you here so soon. You must know that the authorities are searching the land for you. They have summoned many spirits to gain help and information in an effort to find you. They will take no chances in letting you travel freely. I will prepare a path to the king for you. Continue on your way, and all will be in order. As long as you keep away from the beings of the forest, you have nothing to fear. I must leave you now. Journey safely, child. Yeah, so let's put my life back on. And let's go back. Let's check out the right area real quick. Okay, it's locked. So we're just going straight back. I'm gonna equip my sword. I guess it's fine. It's all good. Interesting enough, look at the contrast here. The other place was a full forest. This is like charred and chopped down. Now, that's a little curious. Where'd you come from? I have rested and prepared myself for the remainder of our journey. How was your watch? Hunter, I really do believe that a creature follows us. I have told you already that you have nothing to fear. I alone shall keep you from harm. I know the path ahead of us, like you know the back of your beautiful mask. Now let us travel once again. Well, curious. Well, curious. Hey, heard something spooky. If the hunter does betray us, I'm gonna say there's some kind of symbolic motif of uh, the hunter is two-faced, quite literally. Atop the tower lies someone who can help us gather the blood of evil. The structure's entrance is likely locked, so search vigilantly for a key. More butcheries? Huh. There we go. I am Ammon to inventory. Hey, free meat. What that 
rusty keys for? Hmm. Man, I don't like how that door closed behind us. A creature lies inside this crate. It frowns always. It is sadder than everything. It does everything behind a cloak of depression. It will give us a drop of its blood, for it wishes to see the King Vol. If it questions you, not let it know that you are one of the joys. Is this symbolic? He is gone. Did you not speak of a creature wandering into the trees of the forest? Yes, I did. We must leave immediately. I will keep watch at the next cabin. Oh, I guess the hunter is a good person. After you finish resting, it won't be long before we reach the village. I'm quite eager to arrive there, so we'll now enter the cabin. Before you do, I must comment on your smile. It is... ravishing. Beautiful. Each tooth is molded of such... delicacy. I mean to ask you if I... may... May I wear it? I cannot remove it, for whenever I make such an attempt, I see terrible pictures in my eyes. They couldn't be so frightening that you would never take it off. I have helped you so much, child. My smile could not be removed. I have led you all the way across this kingdom, and you have no desire to help me in return. Uh-oh. Maybe I spoke too soon. You do not need to smile. Give it to me. Take it off. Sleep well, my child. What? Yeah, that was a thing in the, uh, previous game. You could actually try to remove it and you would get the, the weird visions and the, the jump scares. You hear like a watery noise? I mean, there is a river behind us. Hey, training dummy. I am brimming with fear this night. What can I do now that might progress me in my mission to find my friend? Still, I require the blood of evil to make my name, but now I now doubt that the hunter was truthful about its creation. He makes me feel unsafe. I desire to journey to the village without him, and I believe we are close enough to the king that I can find my way alone. But if he speaks in good taste about my needing a name, I must somehow find a creature of sadness from which I can pull blood. I wish that the lost child could help me. 
but I know he isn't following me closely. He has failed to make himself known, even in my moments of distress. Is there a flying bed? In yeah, there's a flying bed. The hunter has failed to help me obtain everything needed for my name. I feel I must make a decision at this time. Hmm. I can let the hunter help me finish my name and lead me to the village, or I can draw blood from the hunter to use my name and leave him. The second one is a smart one, but the first one sounds interesting. From a horror perspective. I trust him enough to travel slightly longer with him. <laughs> he told me himself that it won't be long until we arrive at our destination. He knows his land better than I. He will guide me as best as he can. I must awaken and go to him. Hunter's just there. I was half expecting him just to be there watching us sleep. Maybe the hunter will be gone. It'll be like a non non decision. Yeah. The hunter is gone. Could something have found him while I slept? Has he abandoned me? He said he would wait, but now he is missing. His promises are vain. I now have no choice but to travel onward alone. Maybe the hunter is a spider. At least I think it's a spider. I mean, it could be wrong. But it looked like it had multiple legs. So... One of three, one of four. Well, there's a lot of tokens. Two of four. I can't tell if you get them, like, really separate. Like, it's not symmetrical of, like... Oh, you get all the ones for, like, one design or not? I like it in this. Music changed all horror like. The village? Looks pretty, uh, pretty dead. I think it's a entering Eden. Fountain of the Father. Four diamond and script tokens will awaken the water. Hmm. Fountain of the Spirit. Five triangle and scrap tokens will awaken the water. Yeah, four or five. The thing that was interesting to me was that a token was in the cutscene, and that we could click it and collect it during the cutscene earlier. Fountain of the Sun. Three crescent and scrap tokens will awaken the water. K. 
cave to the right. Doesn't look like there's anything useful over here. Spiderwebs. Giant pot. Hmm. This cauldron's full of water. I could mix the ingredients that I have for my name together. First, I'll put in the blood of per perfection. Now, my own blood. If I can truly create a name, nothing will happen until I have the last ingredient. There might be something here I can use. I should check before I go any farther. Hmm. Cutscene, huh? An apple? Mysterious. A small fruit from your one of the fountains. Could be the last part needed in your name. Apples are evil? What's well, it corrupt, right? What if they the corrupted? But they define as corrupted could be a little more loose compared to what we would define as it. You know, weird rock. I hear my name whispering to me. It makes many noises and I can't understand what they tell me. When I next encounter the lost child, I will ask him to decipher these murmurs. Now that I have obtained my name, I can proceed to the village. With luck, this cave may lead me closer to my destination. You now have a name. It whispers to you, but you can understand what it says. Equipping that name. Wearing it with pride. Huh. Keep us flooded. Number spiderweb. I see you have not well, little one. You should know that it's dangerous to venture for these woods alone. I was wandering through a cave, not the woods. I'd have left you alone if you had stayed further away, but you've entered our domain. My emperor will be truly ecstatic to question your beautiful little smile. I will turn to converse with you shortly, child. Well, it's not the hunter, then. Huh. Or 
rock the boat. Boy, your webs suck. Just lightly swinging, we escaped. Groovy. I hear the creature approaching. Yeah, no, no. Back off. I'm leaving. Well, you, uh, you of the spider race are not too smart. Locked, of course. You the spider emperor. My son, come closer to my ear and speak to you. I love how when they sit, just like when they lay in the bed, it's like they're molded to the chair because they're 2D. <laughs> if the authorities are afoot, then I have no doubt that they aim to locate the child. We may gain some respect in the eye of the king if we give nothing but the boy's corpse back to that filthy beast. This could be a well-deserved strike to his arrogance. How did the child respond to your interrogation? Oh. Can't see. Please do raise your voice. I can understand what you say. Um, oh, oh, uh, 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 a child is submissive and answers my questions. Do not force me to pry. Did you find out the child is a spy? He, he told me that he became lost in the woods. A likely story. What of his companion? He says that his companion left him. Verify the child is secure. Then search the last cabin they stayed in. But before you go, I have one request. Would you sing your song for your father's tired ears? You know I am weak in need of comfort these years. Father, my voice is unsure as of late. I will leave you to rest. What ails you? Daily your voice fills these walls of determination and hope. I will sing for you when I return, and I'll learn more about the child. What noise do I hear? Nothing! What is this thought that enters my mind? What is my name? Tell me my name. If you are my child, say my name. What have you done to my child? If you goats think you can hold us under your hoof and purge my people, even my own son, then you shall pay a steep price. Yep, we're getting the sword back out. Ow. Oh. Oof. Oof. Ow. You've been killed. Retry. God, you are freaky looking. Try and dodge. Yup, that hurt. Yup. So like, there's the weak swing, which is hard to dodge, but it's not as fatal as long as you get some time to get away. 
to heal. And there's the slow swing. That's the one we chop off. Ow! Oops. Ouch, ouch, oof. No, 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 no. Ow! <laughs> oof! Oof! I'm just gonna move on. Ouch! Oof! Thankfully there's health regeneration. I think these are safe zones right here. Seems like it. We're gonna squash this bug, aren't we? That's Galloway. So we can confirm we're goats now. Uh, I guess there's spiders, there's goat people. We don't even know if the hunter was a goat person or not. God, you're scary. Do you know thing I got turned, or did you just the timing was off? No. Something's wrong. It's like this needs power or something. Maybe it's not turned enough? Wait, wait, ow! Free to pass by up here. Get up here. As soon as you go towards the mill, I know you're coming this way. You don't really hesitate too when you do it. Okay, I'm going to the next one. Yeah, no, no. Now, do I have to go to the next one again? Let's see. No, it's good. We gotta go and drop it on you now.
You're gonna squish all right. Looks like your performance had a bit of a flat delivery. But what happened to the hunter, I wonder? So that's it for chapter two of My Beautiful Paper Smile. If you've not seen the first chapter, I recommend watching that one. <laughs> it's going to be on the playlist here. Because that gives a lot of context. This is very much a series that you have to go chapter one, two, three, four. They're not standalone. And this is a early access release. And right now it's chapter one and two are available. With chapter three and four supposedly coming out within this year. And I'm assuming chapter three is going to be the village and then chapter four will probably deal with the king and the kingdom and kind of the reveal of the kind of political aspect of how this real world kind of is structured and works storyline wise i am still not quite sure what's going on aside from the obvious either the 1984 kind of aspect that seems to be happening with the the masks and everything and the four smiles there is additional lore in the game that you can get. If you get all those tokens, or you get the collectible items in the first chapter, they unlock extra scenes or something. Considering I found not many of the tokens, they seem to be quite well hidden. So that's certainly something for the, the completionists out there to kind of hunt down. But yeah, if you're interested in the game, feel free to check out uh, more information and the links down below in the description. That link will take you directly to the Steam page. But aside from that, that's it for me. So thank you all for watching me play my Beautiful Paper Smile, Chapter 2. I'll see you guys later, and take it easy.